Welcome to the Thursday, October 2nd, 2014 edition of Ernerberry's Daily Video, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. In today's show, learn how steak and burger prices have reacted to higher cattle prices. And later, a new set of frozen chicken part quotations on Comtel is established. But first, restaurant patrons overwhelmingly support a national minimum wage hike. Here with more on this story is your host, Jamie Chadwick. In a survey of 1,000 restaurant goers, research firm Technomic found 83% support increasing the minimum wage and adjusting it annually for inflation. The study found widespread backing across age groups and political orientations, with 93% support among self-described liberals, 87% among moderates, and 70% among conservatives. Supporters of a higher minimum wage believe it will stimulate the economy, lift people out of poverty, help the middle class, decrease labor turnover, and reduce government spending. Further, 44% of those surveyed think a minimum wage hike will have a positive impact on the restaurant business. Get more information on this survey along with other consumer trends from around the restaurant industry at foodmarket.com. In other news, certified Angus Beef analyzed how high-priced cattle have affected steak and burger prices over the last few years. Here is Ernaberry Box Beef Market reporter Gary Morrison with this story. In a column by Certified Angus Beef Vice President Larry Cora, high cattle prices have definitely driven up consumer costs for beef and steak items, but have done so in a notably different ways. First, Cora points out how the Great Recession rattled consumer demand for higher priced red meat items like steaks. Between 2006 and 2014, cattle prices increased 75%, but those massive increases were met with just a 28% increase in the ribeye primal price and, by extension, the price of a 10-ounce ribeye at the restaurant. An increase for sure, Cora said, but not nearly as proportional to the change in the cattle price. However, ground beef prices were much more influenced by higher cattle prices. As cattle prices took off starting in 2006, so did ground beef, the main component of hamburgers. By 2014, Cora notes a 127% rise in the yellow sheet ground beef prices, likely due to rising consumer de demand for lower priced red meat options where ground beef fit the bill. So while higher cattle prices have driven up consumer costs for both steaks and burgers, the certified Angus Beef's analysis shows how those increases have trended quite differently, each influenced by a number of consumer and economic behaviors. Thanks, Gary. Here to wrap up today's show is chicken market reporter Terrence Wells with a new set of frozen chicken part quotations on Comtel. In response to changing poultry demographics and in keeping with our commitment to provide the most meaningful market information available, Erner Berry has established a set of new quotations for leg quarters. The changes based on size can be seen in the frozen chicken parts table designated for export trade. After a lengthy deliberation and thorough price discovery effort, reports revealed that frozen leg quarters were trading in a wide range of values and at times too wide a range for one particular quote to represent wholly. Sales over time suggested that the spread between small and jumbo sized leg quarters had even lengthened to as much as 15 cents per pound. As of October 1st, the spread between small and jumbo size leg quarters is still nearly that much. However, now in trading said product, buyers and sellers are able to reference the listed quotations specific to their size. Also included in the new export table is a jumbo drumstick quote, which closed October 1st at 49 cents per pound, delivered East Port. Thanks, Terrence. That concludes today's report. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at epoultry.com.